What's good guys, Monster Chappy back, and the title of today's game is What More Can Go Wrong? This is an online ranked game on the PlayStation 3. I took the Buffalo Bills, my opponent has the Baltimore Ravens. I'm running the stop scheme on offense, running confusion on defense, and uh, yeah, we're going to try to lock up and get this W. Now, right here he sneaks in a nice pass, but the moral of the story of this game is he got a lot of stuff to go his way. I mean, a lot. Well, I felt like right here he caught a bad break, though. He drops that, and fortunately, we're able to get the stop off of him dropping it on fourth down. And we'll take that all day, so, you know, I ain't complaining. <laughs> but um, over the course of the game, he definitely got, like, a ridiculous amount of plays and things to go his way from broken tackles to, to onside kicks to freaking terrible passes from my guys, dropped passes that turned into interceptions just ridiculous ridiculous but you know you got to try to play through it and try to make it happen but you know there's only so much you can overcome at some point it's just Madden has decided you're going to lose this game but let's see how we turn it out let's see if we can pull out the W despite everything I mean everything I mean we did get a few breaks but for the most part everything going this man's way right here he hits us over the top um beats that guy i don't i don't know the, the bills don't have the greatest corners but their defense did play really well today at least for me now one thing i did want to update you guys on is that the houston offensive ebook is done um it's actually called blast off houston offensive ebook but you know blast off is done so you guys can get that it's going to be 12.99 now, one thing is if you get it on MaddenMastermind.com, you can get it for $19.99, but here's the thing. It's a great deal. You're going to get the Arizona scheme when that comes out as well. So basically, you're getting the Houston and Arizona scheme both for the price of $19.99, and I'm selling them both individually for $12.99, so you end up saving like 6 bucks. So if you know you're going to get both or if you get you, Thinking about getting both of them, you should probably get it on MattermasterMind.com, save a few bucks, and, uh, you know, if you're only going to get one, obviously, you can just purchase it from the description, or you can get it off my channel page. I'll also make a promo video on it pretty soon, but I wanted to get this rank game out to you guys because I know you guys have been missing some gameplay. I've been slacking a little bit, but got a few tests and stuff coming up, so that's been the reason for that, and really just been locking in, finishing up that um, blast off scheme, so I do apologize for the slowdown on videos. But, uh, upcoming videos, I got two games against Madden Fever, um, we played a couple money games, um, you know, those were some, definitely some real good games, you guys are definitely gonna enjoy those, and then, I have also a game against Moonlight Swami, and that game is gonna be the game of the year, I, without a doubt, it, by far the best game of the year, uh, on YouTube, especially between commentators, you guys are literally gonna need, look at this, did you see this? This is what I'm talking about. Off my dude Jones' hands. By the way, I take him out the game because he played like a bum for me. I don't know if you guys had that problem, but he definitely played like a bum for me. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't played with the Bills too much this year. This might be my second game with them. And this Jones guy, I mean, everybody else played well, you know, but this guy, this guy right here. Oh, 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 stone hands. Stone hand Jones. <laughs> Didn't want to catch the ball. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, one thing I didn't know about the Bills is that Fitzpatrick had a noodle arm. Uh, his throw power is like 82, and I do end up taking him out later in the game because there's like a couple passes where I feel like it's just an easy completion just due to the fact that majority of the quarterbacks that I play with in the game are able to complete that pass extremely easy. But for some reason, you know, he had – trouble getting the ball there and you know that power was the huge thing right here McKelvin gets a pick on that drag and he go he go so you know we'll take that all day man starting to turn it up on uh defensive side of the ball we're starting to turn up the pressure turn up the heat and really trying to get at that quarterback and make him make bad decisions right here nice little pass lead and he go he go my man defender just was gone himself um <clears throat> Right here, he recovers the onside kick. And one thing I'm going to note about this guy's onside kick that's different from most folks is that 
Most people kick it to that second guy, so I control the second guy and move him out the way. That way it doesn't bounce off of him. But this guy was going to the third guy, and uh, he was a he had a nice pretty onside kick, so it was pretty nice. Uh, right there, he gets, I don't know, two, two good plays, I guess, but those broken tackles, geez. Um, he recovers another onside kick there, and, you know, fortunately enough, the defense steps up and we're able to get an interception. The bird, the bird, the bird is the bird. Let's go. Picking it off. Stop testing us deep, sir. Do not test us deep. Um, we can lock down the deep part of the field pretty well, as well as the short stuff, man. The defense, I'm really starting to get a lot more comfortable on the defensive side of the ball uh, per versus pretty much any type of offense. So, you know, that's always good. Just got to make sure the offense stays consistent and we keep moving the rock. And put some points on the board because we're only up 13. That's only two touchdowns. And CJ Spiller fumbles. He fumbled earlier. They didn't recover it. And now he's taking our cookies. I don't like losing cookies. Uh, I got a sweet tooth. This is a problem. So it's time to step it back up, defense. It's time to step it back up. We need to make something happen. And right here is fourth and 11. We get the stop. And now it's time to get back on the offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, even though CJ Spiller fumbled a couple times, you know, we're going to get it back to him. But stevie johnson fumbles in the end you gotta be kidding me man you've got come on man how many fumbles is this gotta be like three or four fumbles it's just ridiculous but uh you know i like fred jackson and cj spiller that's the reason cj spiller is in the slot as you can see but um i like to keep them both on the field and if you're not running a split back set make sure you get both of those guys out there i like spiller at the wide receiver more so because he can you know catch the ball a little bit better or he's just a little faster. So, you know, he's beneficial for that right there. Taking off with the QB, we get that. And right here, we get a fluke interception. I don't know what happened, but it was like, well, whatever. We'll scoop that up. So that's going to wrap this game up, man. The dude just starts hopping off sides, basically conceding. We were able to overcome all the madness that was going on and secure the win. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, we gone.